I've been debating for a long time whether or not I should make this video. I wanna talk a little bit today. It's just gonna be a one take. Honestly, just flipped on the camera here in my office at Fitness Culture. Just a one take about Optimum Nutrition. Optimum Nutrition, sports nutrition company. Um, I signed with Optimum Nutrition. They were the first company I ever took when I got into the fitness industry or even before when I got into weightlifting was the gold standard way. <clears throat> And I signed with them after I won the Muscle and Fitness Male Model Search in 2009, 2009 or 2010. I cannot believe how long I have been doing fitness stuff for in the actual fitness industry, going to expos, um, bodybuilding.com, Optimum. I've probably, I, I did 99% of my expos with Optimum over the course of the last really, you know, seven years traveling the world with Optimum and I'm no longer with them anymore. And it's been a while, um, you know, it's been about six months since I've known, I couldn't say anything um, just because the way everything was set up, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything that people wanted to continue to, I guess, have that image. You know, they, they were they're in the contract, I couldn't say anything basically. <clears throat> um, but now, I can and you know people are asking me you know Steve are you with Optimum what happened and you know there's not a whole lot I can say about this it's, it's one of those things that I hate the way everything kind of went down um, about two years ago I went to Optimum and said hey I want to I want to do like my own uh, uh, there's some products out there that I really think would be great um, you know let's do a, a new spin-off brand let's do something I don't want to call it a Steve Cook line. I've always been really turned off by the by the idea of a line that has my name on it. So I just wanted to do some cool products. Um, I came up with a name um, after they said yes. Okay, that sounds good. Came up with a name that they registered, um, and it was something that I thought everything was going really well. Some key people, one of the people at Optimum that signed off on or said, hey, yeah, this is a great idea, Steve, let's do it. They ended up leaving Optimum. And from there, things kind of just got a little little weird. Um, new person came in and kind of changed the idea, kind of trained, changed the concept, and really um, ended up being not a good situation. Over the last year, we were in talks and negotiations, and ultimately, it just, just failed. It just, something that they they didn't they didn't see happening or we couldn't see eye to eye on it i'm sure you know the one thing i will always say about optimum is i love their products it was a a great seven years for me like i never thought in all of my life i'd be able to travel the world and meet people and and really like it was my life <laughs> i traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled for optimum singapore malaysia Australia, China, Spain, London, um, and, and gave so much, you know, every expo we went to, seven, eight hour days, meeting people, and I loved hearing about people's stories and hearing about, and you know, we'd, we'd work out with contest winners afterwards. And, you know, Optimum products are all really I've ever, I've ever taken for the most part. There's been some things here and there that I've tried. There's some, been some products here and there that I thought Optimum could have added. Um, that all being said, you know, I'm now left with, with you know, uh, something that I wish could have happened that didn't happen. And when you're left in a situation where like, you know, you feel like, I feel like it's almost like a, a divorce, if you will. Like I was with them for seven years. I feel like I gave them my heart and I'm sure they, they feel, you know, very similar that, you know, we had, we, it, was a, it was a great thing. And when something like that ends, it's always difficult. You're always looking to pick up the pieces. And uh, all I can say is right now, going into 2018, um, I'm a little bit scared, a little bit apprehensive. Uh, all I know is that I have a chance to either look at doing something with a new company or starting my own line. And both, both scenarios have pros and cons. 
obviously the pro of, of coming going with a company is that you know you, you find a company that you believe in and that's what's hard like I've been so removed from that game I've been so removed from okay what company out there do I really believe in I believe in op optimum products I love the Hydroway. I took it all the time the amino energy the Optimin. these are products that I, I loved and took so now I'm like okay do I go out there and try to find a new company? I talked with bodybuilding.com about creating my own line. It didn't end up working out. Um, I've talked to a lot of companies, well, about four or five companies that have approached me. And I'm just like, hey, yeah, send me, send me some, uh, some samples of your products. I don't wanna just jump into, hey, yeah, that sounds good, let's, let's do it. I have to, like for me, I'm somebody who's a bad liar. I can't fake things. So if I'm like, hey, take this product and I don't believe in it, people out there are gonna be able to to realize that. And, and there's people online that promote products, they jump from company to company to company. I've never been the one to do that. When other companies, you know, I had a year to year contract with Optimum, and other companies would come along and offer, you know, more money, more whatever. I started out with Optimum at getting $500 a month in supplements and getting paid $500. And I traveled the world on that. I worked at a, at a restaurant in California because I knew I wanted to be an optimum athlete and I wanted to see the world and travel, but I couldn't afford to do that. Optimum wasn't paying me you know, enough just to, to do nothing. So I worked for $500 a month and $500 in supplements. And I worked at a restaurant to supplement my income so then I could have that luxury of going and just picking up and saying, hey, I, I need to have this week off, like I'm leaving. I would get all my shifts covered or I would just say far enough in advance, don't schedule me. And really a restaurant, provided me, you know, I had my degree at the time. I'm a, I have my bachelor's and a biology, psychology, integrated studies degree. And I was gonna go into chiropractic, but I really envisioned this goal. I envisioned, you know, I had this amazing opportunity after I got divorced in college, after I won the Muscle and Fitness Male Model Search to travel the world with Optimum. And everything has kind of just grown from that, from YouTube, from meeting people on the road, um, with Gymshark, and I've been so, so blessed that I've had the opportunity to do that. And I feel like I've, 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 I've gave a lot up. And, you know, I think it could be, it could be easy for me to be a little bit bitter about the situation, say, oh, I gave so much to Optimum, and you know, when push come to shove, they didn't want to do what I wanted to do type of thing. But, you know, I just feel grateful for the opportunity that I had with them, and this kind of sounds this kind of sounds like I'm you know breaking up with a girl. I'm grateful for the opportunity, but I really mean that traveling the world and getting to meet people. I've met so many tremendous people with Optimum and then at these expos, and really in promoting products I believe in. So here I am, 2018, heading into the year, left with what do I do? Do I do I you know feel out some other companies, taste the products, sample them out, try to try to again? I love seeing people, love promoting that health and that healthy that health and wellness lifestyle. Do I do that? Do I start my own line? I know there's a lot of cool products out there from nootropics to, you know, some really cool ideas that I've heard. And I'm really just kind of trying to absorb as much as I can. The last thing I wanna do is just jump into something just because, you know, I'm not getting paid anymore to promote a certain product. Um, and I guess it's, it's, it's one of those, on the last video, we talked about stresses in life. Changing a job is at the top of that stress, opening up a new gym, launching our app. So the whole purpose of this gym is so that we can film for our app. I have the best team of people around me from Jake to his wife. We're bringing on new athletes, Coach Allen, who's the head strength coach at University of Houston for Olympic sports. People that I feel like we can make a huge difference because the fitness world, what you see out there on Instagram and even somewhat on YouTube, the programming isn't what it should be. You know, people aren't, aren't really, you know, they don't care about mobility, they don't, they don't care about proper form, they're cookie cutter programs. We have spent so much money in developing this app, and I think supplements will go along with it. That we know people trust us. When we, when, we, when we talk about programming, so we have the building program, building lean muscle, big, it's turning into build, uh, because I think big was invoking like bulky. Big is gonna be putting on lean muscle. We have the lean program, obviously designed to get lean, even do people have done contest preps on it. We then are gonna be launching a powerlifting, powerlifting program. So Jake is a power lifter. I mean, he could, he's, he's gonna to go to nationals this year. He's that good of a power lifter. Also, he's a great Olympic lifter. His form's not amazing, 
but he's just super strong. So snatch clean, super impressive. Over 300 pounds in the snatch, over 400 pounds in the clean. Ridiculous. Um, and these are in tested federations, which I really want to bring home. Also CrossFit, he's been to the CrossFit game. So I have the best team of programmers and athletes and people that know sports exercise. Um, Jake, that's what he went to college for. He has his thesis to do and that's it for his master's degree. So I have, I have this amazing opportunity and people trust us. We by far have, you know, there's other people who offer cookie cutter programs or just coaching out there. Nobody comes close to the team that we've we've established, and not just for bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is one thing, but like, so we have the power program, then the last one we have is the athlete program. So it's kind of a blend of all of it. If you like doing some powerlifting, if you like doing some bodybuilding, if you like doing some functional movements, whether it's pistol squats, whether it's single, you know, single arm dumbbell, so some Olympic lifting, so to be more explosive. So I typically tell people I train, you know, I'll do, depending on what time of year it is, I'd either do big, lean, or athlete. I've never done a true powerlifting program, only because it's never really interested me. Powerlifting is like, I, I never have been good at deadlift, so I've just shied away from it. I have shorter arms. Um, Jake's built for deadlifting, longer arms, and shorter torso. I'm the exact opposite. That being said, you know, I thought it'd be really cool as, we're, as we've spent thousands, $100,000 on this app to give people a chance to also get their supplements there. Um, I just, I'm not sure if that's another thing, another stress I want to add to my plate right now. And I think in the long term it'd be the best thing, but you know, life's full of changes, life's full of challenges, ups and downs. And I think this year, especially the last six months, has just been riddled with them, chock full of them. Has, you know, my, my stress has gone tenfold. And I can see it in my body, I can see it in my physique that, you know, I, there's something constantly on my mind. I honestly feel like I have ADHD, always looking at social media, looking at what person this, what's, who's doing this and what person's doing that. And I feel like 2018 has to be a year where I want to accomplish a lot of things. You know, a supplement company or, or, or you know, going with somebody that I really believe in. Maybe it's not even a well-known company, but I just really believe in their products. Um, and then also this app launching in January is going to be massive, opening up the gym in two weeks, massive ordeal. And then launching my Gymshark clothing line in Australia in March. So many crazy, like big, big changes. And I think the thing you always gotta remember is that why, why are you doing this in the first place, Steve? What, like what, if you're not having fun, why are you doing this? And I constantly try to remind myself that like, it's not about what this person or that person's doing. You have to be true to who you are. And I think I've always tried to be a large picture guy. You know, I don't try to get by in gimmicks or, you know, sexy Instagram videos with, with like, you know, girls and things like that. That's not me, that's never been me. And I don't want it to be me. And I hope people, you know, when they view my channel or they view my social media, they realize that. And more importantly, with, with, with anything that I do in 2018, I want it to be real. And I want people to be like, you know what? This might not have made the most money or it's, this isn't what so-and-so would have done, but it's it's Steve and it's exactly what you know I would have done. So that being said, you know, thank you so much to Optimum for the opportunity that you guys gave me and you know the products that you guys you know come out with, top of the line, you know, great people, great products over there. I am no longer an optimum nutrition athlete. And if I don't go to expos, you know, we're gonna be at gym, with Gymshark at the LA Fitness Expo at a pop-up store, pop-up shop. Um, I don't know what other expos I'm going to this year. I'm gonna miss that. Like, I really, I'm like, ugh, I really wanna, you know, get a supplement company going just because I wanna be at expos. Um, but at the same time, you know, I wanna do it right. I wanna make sure we, we knock it out of the park. There's some Gymshark athletes that I think would be phenomenal ambassadors. And more than anything, I want to give people something new, not just the same old, same old everything, if I go that direction. But anyhow, thank you guys so much. I know this is just a one take, literally, in my empty office here. We do have the desk here, and that's about it. Um, so, yep, right now I'm just trying as many products as I can. What do I like? What do I not like? And looking at some of the other companies that I like, what they're doing. So. More to come on that, and hopefully we see you in LA, January the first week, so next weekend, we'll be there with Gymshark at the pop-up store. The gym opening after that, which is stressing me the hell out. And we also need to launch our app, which will be the best programming 
ever. Yeah, ever. <sighs> I have to go work out now. All my workouts have been half-assed this week, and I promised myself today I would get a great workout. Let's do it.